They did it. They got Lauren on. Lovely to see the three of them together. It was. They all look fabulous, I must say. It really they is are, crazy. They are aging so gracefully. And When Lauren said that they're approaching their 20th high school reunion, I was like, whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But it was really fun to watch all of them talk about it, and you get the real perspective behind the scenes view because you were watching a bunch of high school kids yeah you know a love triangle that wasn't even really a love triangle they explained you know a lot of it was hammed up for the cameras from the producers but they also i appreciate when people who were on shows like this also appreciate the producers where they're like they had a job and they yeah. did it rather than like fuck them for making us feel that way and it's yeah. like but they also they did have a job and and they right. they made the show successful right and um, and led to all of them having careers yes and they said that all of them wouldn't take it back they would they would do it again and because they have had so much success since then it was just really interesting to see the dynamic of Kristen and lauren because if you watch laguna beach and you watch the hills then you would think that i, know, these... I wanted them to talk about the hills i know so <laughs> she said that she didn't really even speak much she said she no. was watching the show and realized that she wasn't even really talking that much and that all the lines that she was given was the narrating and that's yeah. when she mostly talked and then Kristen said that she did enough talking for everybody which yeah. I think is funny I think it's also funny to see both their personalities still shine through like Lauren is like chill and yeah. confident it always like seems like put together and Kristen's very bubbly and she's very open about you know I wanted to be on the show so bad I wanted that attention and Steven just looks exactly the same which is really funny Steven's great too I just feel like he is a good anchor for everybody where even if Lauren was like, I don't know about doing, because at first, like when they first started the pot, the podcast, they were like, oh, we'd love for Lauren to come on. I don't know if she'll do it. And he had originally asked her and I think she was hesitant, but then she had explained like, I hadn't watched the show. Like I just felt like I couldn't mm -hmm. really give that much insight. Um, but then after she watched it and she also watched their podcast and thought like they were doing a really good job. So she agreed to do it, but I just feel like there is a uh, a trust there with Steven too that they've just maintained a, a friendship through all the years where it's like if one of them were to reach out or text each other about something, like they would answer and talk and they have that kind of relationship where I feel like Lauren was probably like, oh, this is, you know, I trust Steven. It won't be anything like right. crazy. We talked about how Heidi and Spencer and Brody and Audrey and I, I think they do The Hills podcast yeah I, think I don't know if it started it was audrina it is audrina and brody i think i think and i'm pretty sure i think either heidi was just a guest or heidi's like joining as a third chair i would be i think lauren would be less inclined to go on that one no i don't think we'll ever see lauren on that no on that podcast. and i think Kristen and and steven are very classy about it and they do everything in the in the right way so i thought it was very interesting to see it's a they totally have, different show too like it's so much i don't know they're high school like laguna so yeah it's so different like looking back and 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 that was only two seasons and it was that one time in their life like in between high school college transition the hills went on for so much longer and i feel like even though it was so manufactured it infiltrated more into their lives and their livelihoods and everything that came afterwards that things are like maybe still a little bit more personal like when you think about your your early 20s compared to like what was going on in high school like now you for me like I look back at high school I'm like ah water under the bridge right, you know it's right. high school but like there's still some some shit like college early or early 20s where I'm yeah. like I have I forgot about that <laughs> right and I I definitely agree because high school everyone's figuring it out and there's yeah. more forgiveness there's more leniency yeah you're more school, like oh, I was in sure. high school I was yeah, surrounded yeah. by all the same people and then once yeah. you reach your 20s you're like mm, I don't know I feel like you should know a little bit better yeah but which makes it which made the whole rewatch very enjoyable right I think I, I definitely want to go back and watch Lauren and Kristen also apologize to both to each other for calling each other sluts. Yeah. It's like mean girls like, why are we all calling each other sluts and whores? I know. Which was just funny because it also makes it's another thing, like so high school. Right. I, I it just makes you feel better almost about your high school self. And I, I don't I can't I I don't think I ever called someone a slut right to their face yeah. or, or I don't on, even or on TV. Or on TV. But <laughs> that you think back and you're like to a friend right you're you're just like probably not to their yeah. face oh oh no like no behind, behind someone's backs. backs 
one hot like yeah. i'm not gonna be like i never yeah, said yeah. i called someone a slut like yeah. i definitely did yeah. but you're like oh i feel a little bit better that they yeah. all but they you know you grow up and you're like you and Lauren like, was like oh, i was so embarrassed yeah, i said that yeah, like yeah. you think like some things i look back i'm like mm, so cringe so that cringe. i thought i was so cool like talking about someone like that or whatever it yeah. was so I just love seeing them together and they seem like they're both doing really well. Yeah, exactly. I hope they all like are able to do stuff, more stuff together. You know, like Kristen was saying, it would just be so nice to get everyone together, even like not for a podcast or to be filmed or anything, just to like hang out and have fun. Right. I feel like Lauren says yes to that. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, totally. Kristen's also like single. Right, so exactly. Like, oh, yeah, like, let's let's yeah. get the band back together. Right, right. <laughs> what are you guys doing yeah. this weekend? Yeah. Tomorrow where yeah. Lauren's like, I have a husband and kids. So yeah, yeah. that sounds great, but yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah, definitely. Maybe their kids will have play dates. Mm. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs>